we wake Hear the birds and see the sun Hello beautiful people, it's Darren here from Art by Darren with another Art Start DIY. Today we're getting cosy. It's the colours of autumn. Let's start off with a little autumn sign for our tea tray. Going to grab these letters from Bunnings and a little square dowel from Amazon. A little bit of wheat, we'll add those later. And then we're going to use these colours, these autumn colours going from a rose matter to a copper to an orange to a gold and just going to blend them on uh, the wooden letters here and I'm using like a touch of each on my brush is how I'm sort of getting the blend so we're starting off with the red color going to the copper the copper and the orange actually are pretty close but when you see it at the end you'll see it does look a bit different and mixing each together as you go down so where are we at now? No, adding a little bit more red to that to de deepen it. Adding the gold right on the end and painting them front and back because it's going to go on a tiered tray. Now let's add a little bit of burnt umber on my chippy brush uh, just to give a little bit of distress. And I've got these gold flakes that I'm using in a project later on. Um, this is a bit out of order with continuity, sorry about that guys, but putting a little bit of gold leaf on with some, just some Mod Podge there actually, and just a, a tiny little bit, don't go overboard with it, and a little bit of hot glue there to add the wheat onto the end. So you can see I didn't go, I, I mean there's enough gold on there, but not too much. Now I've got these wooden trays that had uh, flowers in them and all sorts of things, little uh, wooden shapes in them. So I'm just going to cut the end off with my little hacksaw. I've popped the very end off first and then I'm cutting down through. If you do it kind of gently, you can get through these because they do have a tendency to sort of shatter, like to, to rip into the... I think I did it on the very last one. Yeah, this one. I broke it. It's kind of... Looks like crap, but that's okay. It can go on the bottom. Uh, so these are going to be our little autumn books. Just adding back that end from the end strip with some glue there. And I'm going to stack them on top of each other at an angle with some hot glue as well. Now we've got those colours out still from painting out autumn. I don't know if you're like me, but if you're going to paint something, you do it all at once. So. Everything got put to the side until all the colours were there. But again, the rose matter and the copper and the gold, just using the three colours and blending them a little bit on there and adding a bit of burnt umber to distress it. And then we're going to add a little bit of gold to this one too. And a little bit of Mod Podge. Now, I use this Mod Podge for the first time, this uh, dishwasher safe one. Can't say I like it. I mean, it's just bloody PVA glue, let's face it. And you know, if you're used to using artists' quality mediums, they're so much better. But I don't know about the Mod Podge. I'm not a fan. So just grab these uh, letters and uh, stamping with my stays on, which is a permanent black ink, and putting the words autumn leaves. Yes, please. Love the colour of autumn. I used to have this gorgeous maple tree out the back of my house, and it got knocked down by this huge like 60 foot pine tree in a storm so it was very sad when that tree went because it was just the most amazing blaze of color so here we are we've added some string and now i'm just cutting around following the same lines that are on the uh, maple leaf there because it was too big so i just wanted it smaller so if you actually just follow it around the angles you can get a nice little maple leaf big enough for your project again they're from Amazon they came with a whole all of my pumpkins I think I got all those leaves but in the end I decided not nope, maple leaf and just a little bit of red seed pod with that string and just using a flame to get rid of the fuzzy bits on the flame just be careful with it when you do it because it can go up in flames and there's our autumn books and it wouldn't be autumn without some pumpkins. So I'm making these jute pumpkins. I made one out of rope. I made it out of a thick string and a thinner string. And I just wrapped it around my hand making loops until I got it big enough and then sort of wrapped the cord around the middle and 
pop some hot glue on it. I think with this jute rope one, uh, this big one, I should have actually found some more rope because that's all I had left and it sort of, it looks a little, mm, a little like it's missing a bit. I mean, it still looked okay. It's still, you know, it's artful. Adding some of these orange and yellow leaves on and a little stick there for its stem. The easiest way I found to do it was to wrap it around my hand until I had it sort of big enough for, for half a side and then do the other side, wrap it around the middle and then hot glue them together and then sort of fluff them out. And I've seen people online doing them like wrapping it around and then just, you know, doing like 12 of them to, to make these. This is the easiest way. Do it in two and it's done very quick. And you spend a bit of time fluffing. Now with these white pumpkins that I got off Amazon, the iridescent paints, you have to give it quite a few coats uh, to get it to cover. And using your heat gun, if you hold it onto these <coughs> drying to your paint, you'll actually find that they go into this beautiful little like hammered copper look. I thought it looked rather cool actually, so I sort of leant into that and put more copper on them and painted their stems with a little bit of burnt umber and then popped a little bit of gold just on the stem because I'm, I'm going to reuse the ones I had from last year so my blue ones for my coastal kind of farmhouse the fabric ones I'll link that for you so that you can uh, see those ones that we made last year I'm going to make a little wreath for our home sign we had our little valentine on there before now we're going to put a little autumn wreath made simply by coiling some string around and then wrapping the string around to sort of hold it in shape a bit of hot glue and then cutting these leaves down to size so that they fit on this little mini wreath and hanging that on there again i think i do decide to add a bit of paint to this yeah i do I'm missing a bit of paint at the back <laughs> refreshed my pumpkins and i decided to paint the letters blue this time um I'm not quite sure about it we'll see and now this is our flower arrangement that we had for valentine's day we're going to take out the peonies and add some sunflowers and just these leaves on the end of uh, these coffee stirrer sticks or you could put them on the end of a toothpick as well just with a little bit of hot glue so that they can stand up in the arrangement so i took out the lavender I left all the eucalyptus leaves in there and a little bit of fir leaves in there as well and added a little buffalo check ribbon around the middle. Now if you know this song, All the Leaves Are Brown and the Sky Is Grey, California Dreaming, song I heard before my hubby came into my life. I heard it like all the time, everywhere I went I heard that song, it was wild. Anyway, because hubby's American by the way. So I've just got a coaster, a wooden coaster and glued that on let it dry overnight and then use some sandpaper to get it off. Pop some leaves on the top, a few little metal, uh, wooden metal, haha, <laughs> wooden blocks at the back and adding some burnt umber all around the edge and the back. And then I'll do it with the chippy brush on the front as well, just to give it that distressed look. But that song's very meaningful for us, so that's how I put it on the tray. Now let's do this anthropology dupe. It's a gold leaf lant. Now it's using this Mod Podge like I said, as you can see I'm opening for the first time so I hadn't used it before um, and I popped that in in the pattern that I wanted and then I started adding these flakes of gold that I had. I wanted to use some of this stuff up and I gotta say mm, I mean it did end up working in the end but it kind of got really sort of soggy and you couldn't, I don't know. I think if you're gonna make this grab a glue of some description i would probably use like soft gel matte or something like that or even the gold sizing uh, glue that you get that you put gold leaf on would probably work better i was just giving this a try and uh put a very thin amount if you're going to use these gold flags put a very thin amount on i'd recommend using the sheets of gold they're easier to get into just for it to stick down in there and i've also put my candle it's a you know in a glass container i wouldn't advise putting a candle straight just in that either and so that's a little anthropology dupe now we've got another one this is this little butterfly hook got this hook from 
IKEA and then I had these gold butterflies in my stash you can get them anywhere any jewelry supply shop and I'm not even sure if I'm going to change anything on this just because I like butterflies I had gold butterflies as a theme at my wedding so many years ago <laughs> and that's just our little hook now I've got this autumn tree this is what it kind of looks like on Amazon and I change this tree every season so it had green leaves, green ivy leaves all over it for summer. Now it's going to have autumn leaves. So I've got these coloured eucalyptus leaves and I've got the maple leaves as well. And I'm just using the little wiry bits to sort of tie things on. Also just where I want to sort of balance the leaves out, I just pop a little bit of hot glue on there. And this tree lights up, it's really fun. I really love it. And there's my gold butterfly from that was on the centerpieces for my wedding. For our wedding, I should say. That's my meditation altar. And I did put up some autumn leaves. I'm still not sure about those uh, uh, autumn leaves with lights. But anyway, they're up now. So here I've just grabbed an old uh, willow wreath. And I'm making a moon harvest wreath. So peonies, uh, dahlia and a sunflower from Bunnings. The wheat I ordered online, I think from Amazon. And I'm just popping those in and adding leaves with some hot glue. I'm just using string to tie things on. And covering that up with some more leaves. Now I think I go a little overboard with the autumn leaves here. But hey. It added some colour. So here's our moon wreath on my front door. And yes, I still haven't made my front door <laughs> yet. I've got to decide on a colour. I just still haven't decided what I'm doing with the front of the house. But look, those vintage pots, they're still going well. They've had, what, six months out there. Now, there's Tara coming in for a little hello. And she's got her winter jumper on and I'm making the lounge room a little cosier with some textured pillows. So these I got from Spotlight and I've just got a lovely texture on them. Uh, it's, it's a woven kind of texture. Now I started off trying with the face pillows, decided I didn't like it and just went with these dotted pillows. One from Ikea and one from online. Had this little vase, pop some uh, leaves in it and then added the pumpkins and then added a candle and that little vignette was done. And a cosy uh, rug there as well. Added these leaves to the dining room table with some pumpkins, with the string pumpkins and those colourful eucalyptus leaves again so using blue and orange they do go together they're, um, they're, they're contrasting they're called complementary colours they're opposite each other on the colour wheel so they really vibrate well together these are those candlesticks we made at Christmas time I think it was or just before Christmas uh, with some old uh, spindles out of my staircase and this little uh, flower and garden milk jug I suppose it's called <laughs> and put it there from Amazon now these little uh, why can't I speak today pottery figurines were from Mexico so this is how it's looking at the moment that's my mantelpiece and here's my tiered tray with our lantern our signs some pumpkins from last year and the ones we made this year as well our books and autumn leaves so I hope you enjoyed that video please let me know in the comments do you make your like do you design for autumn um, did you lean into the colors tell me about it in the comments so thank you so much for watching please like and subscribe if you haven't already I'm sending you all the love, light and happiness in the world. Have a wonderful day and I will see you next time. Bye for now. Things are finally right With you and I, the future